Okay, we've uh, fixed the issues for the fonts. Now let's log off and log on. So, restart or log out, just maybe go faster. Since we need to be able to change what desktop environment, if we can call i3 a desktop environment, we will take. It's like taking forever. Sorry about that. Maybe a re a reboot was in order. Okay, we finally got here our image. Let's go back to full screen. You choose up here the right thing, i3 or XFCE, and then you log in. And this is what you will get after installation. So if you don't install all of, all of these programs, they will never pop up. So that's why we had to add this application uh, folder with all the programs that are now popping up all over the place. So this is our wallpaper moving to another screen we're on workspace 3 here so one is firefox two sublime text three is um, gimp no inkscape four is gimp five is melt you'll know what melt is in a bit and then windows f, f windows f6 is vlc F7 is virtual box and VMware and all that. F8 is our uh, Nemo or Tunar so file managers. 9, F9 is everything that's with mail. And F10 is everything with music. In my case, Spotify. So all these programs have their own workspace, their own place. And I switch between them here on the bottom left. You can quickly change and the fade in and fade out. What you see is Compton and when with the windows enter you'll see uh, different kind of colors so the dimming and the shading is all compton so the things that are focused will never shade will never be opaque and this one will be opaque since it's eternal and i want to see my uh, wallpaper behind it and you can set how opaque it is in here as well so you can take a look at the wallpaper and scroll over to have the next one and the next one and so on so that's uh, the, in the intention to install i3 on any of our linux mint machines and um, enjoy it signing off